so glad you're here. I have uh, gone thrifting regardless of all of the purging I've been doing. I've been binging as well. That's just part of the disease, but uh, or the disorder, I should say. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I did have two other videos that I had pre-recorded, and somehow or another, during the holidays, my phone decided to go on the brink, and I thought I had... Um, uploaded things to the cloud in order to save them and oh indeed they were not I lost two very important videos that I had been saving one was a ride-along and the other was the haul anyway guys on to the haul what I got to start with I got this really cute collectible Sears tin I'm sure it's not old it's probably just a replica a reissue it's from Mr. Coffee I believe they were selling um the filters in here probably advertisement and then the top, I really like the top. It's got this statuesque looking lady. It looks almost like the Statue of Liberty or some kind of a of a icon there. What I paid for this, I think it was probably 50 cents. Then I got this, this was actually sealed. I just unsealed it because you could see it better and it had a lot of noisy wrap on it. Just a little um, 99 cent journal. It is lined. And I don't know about you guys, the journal, I like my lines to show. Speaking of journals, I found this other one. Now, this one I got when it was half price. So this was 50 cents because it's marked 99 cents. I love this journal. It is a date book, and I think it's like from 1970 something. But it's got the prettiest pictures of these ornate castles. And I just thought since I'm uh, trying to do a junk journal or a sort of a smashbox journal, I'm going to probably try to use some of these. I also just like them as little background pages for my journals, and maybe I can paste something on top of that. Uh, anyway, and they're just so pretty, you know, vintage books, even, um, let me look at that, just for glancing through, looking at those beautiful pictures in here, and as I said, I don't mind tearing things up to make something else. I love repurposing things. As making well. Making some um, junk journals and sort of scrapbooks for my kids, for my older kids, because I want to get rid of some of their stuff that I've been accumulating. You know, I don't think I need to save everything from the first grade on to the 12th grade. So I'm going to try to condense some of that into a scrapbook for me and a scrapbook for them, and the rest is just going to go in the recycle. Right. Books. Um, I got this one called Britain's Heritage, and this was also from Half Price that day, so I got it for $1.50. Just another really pretty book that I am going to list. I haven't had it. I found it on Amazon because it doesn't have an ISBN number nor a barcode. So I did find it, but uh, now I can't find it and I have to hunt for it again. I have to take the time and list that. These do really well, these pictorial type of books, especially the vintage. I found me another soup cookbook. I'm going to keep this one because I don't know if you recall, I bought one called The Soup Bible. And then another soup book, and they just flew off the shelf. I didn't even get a chance to glance at them. I, I have a couple of recipes. I have one for a vegetable soup that I got from PBS, one of their cooking shows, and I still have that one, and I love it, but it's a big, elaborate, make-your-own-stock type of thing, and I like that as well. It's a, it's a great soup. But I really wanted to learn how to make just like a regular soup. Their books have price that day as well. So that was a dollar. That fine Italian hand. And it's just a bunch of anecdotes about the country, the people, politics, etc. So that's this one. This one's called Angel Blessing Stamps. These are rubber stamps. Guys, I am doing really well on the rubber stamps. Really well on those with uh, on eBay. But this one I thought I would list as well. And if it's new enough, I may put it on Amazon if, the, if I can get all of this tape and everything off without damaging the box. It's called I Hope You Dance. And um, just a really nice little vintage colored um, page there, blank pages again. This was Mark 99. I got it for 50 More cents. books. Let me know, guys, if you want me to do the separate book uh, hauls or if you like it mixed up uh, with the regular video. I know the last time I got a couple of responses, but uh, I'm not sure if you want me to just do. Sometimes the books really pile up, and I like to do just a... A book haul so let me know really rung up at a good price it's called uh, rapid prototyping user's guide to rapid prototyping and uh, yeah this is a really good condition book I think it rung up over $20 on Amazon so that's already listed another old book I think this is a library issue and I love Atlas and maps and all of that this is random now these concise Atlas of the earth 
I especially like the vintage ones, and I do repurpose them as well. I, I don't mind taking them apart and decoupaging with them and whatnot. And I even made a really nice bulletin board for my um, classroom out of some of these old maps. And you know what? Some of these textbooks, they're obsolete people. If you could read some of the some of the text in here, you'd be appalled. They're, they're not politically correct, and there's just a lot of interesting things in here that I really wouldn't want to share with my students. This is an oversized book. This is probably 13 by, I don't know, 13 by 9 or something. It's a pretty nice coffee table book. If it doesn't garner any interest, I'll probably repurpose it, but uh, it will, of course, be listed first. Move on to some mugs. I got another one of these. I've had one of the 50 cents they've really been cheap at the goodwill guys 50 cents this is the cool and i got this one because you know i know this is kind of cliche and overused now but uh, this one is the original keep calm and carry on and i really like it i like the little handle on it's got a nice comfortable grip red and white and most of these were 50 cents or a dollar at the most it was made in japan and i also love things that are made in japan and this has some polo players on there i don't know if i've already showed you this one if i did Please forgive me, because like I said, those videos that got lost really messed me. Another copy, a nice copy, big and very good condition of the Cat in the Hat. Never can have enough of those. And uh, I'm also starting to collect some books from our daughter, who is also going to be a teacher probably at the end of the year. So she actually came and relieved me of some of my hoard the other day. She took my Harry Potter collection. So uh, now we can start collecting those again. Then I got this one called Decoration USA, and uh, just very interesting decorating, yeah, really pretty. It's a couple of color photographs here, but these are always on Amazon, and um, you know, inspiration. Once in a while, I like to redo the house, buy a carpet or something. Franklin Covey system, and this is an introduction to that system, and I do love their planner, so I thought that might glance through there. VHS tape. This one is the PBS Teletubbies, and this is selling for over ten dollars. Already listed that as well. And these cost me less than a quarter, guys. If I get them at um, Nam, where they have them for fifty cents, and sometimes they're half price, they're a quarter. And I don't remember where I got this one, but it was twenty-five cents. I don't know why I rebought these because I've had them before a few years ago. And I think I sold them at a garage sale or somewhere, and then I missed them because I love maps and I love globes. And uh, so I bought them back, and these are the Nasty Glass Mugs. And I think when I had them, I only had like four. Well, guess what? I bought nine. They can bug me about taking up all the room on the cabinet again with my mugs. They don't sell for very much on eBay. Uh, when you take into account how much they weigh, and all it's going to cost you to, to mail. I think I saw these averaging about five or six dollars a piece, which you know I could still sell them if I wanted to because I only got them for 49 cents. But I really do. Guys, love let's them. switch it up again and let's do some jewelry. This is a beautiful piece. I wish it was real, but it's not. It's just imitation. But it was only two dollars and it looks fabulous. I'm not going to wear it though. I mean, I'm going to sell it. I put it on Posh to sell it. It's uh, sort of a coral. Native American inspired piece. See, it's even big on me. Really pretty red. I love it's it. Real turquoise. Really love this. This is by um, Lucky Brand on a leather cord and it's turquoise and nuggets. That's kind of long. It's kind of long right here. Hey guys, I'm wearing the necklace that I just sold. I wore it just to show it to you. But I sold it. This is from the estate piece. I have sold three pieces of her jewelry already. I'm so excited to uh, tell her that I sold two pieces over this weekend. And this is one of them. I got $25 for it. Isn't it beautiful? It's so heavy and so pretty. I love it. I hope they don't, well, whatever, whatever people do with it. But, you know, because some people buy the crystal beads just to repurpose them. But I just think it's so pretty and it's just the perfect length. But anyway, back to this one. This is the turquoise one. And again, it's the Lucky like Brand. the light-colored cord as well. The oh. expensive Lucky Brand things are, especially their jewelry. There's a ring here. What happened to it? Hold up. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. All right. I really love this. It's really small. Hey, it's not that small. Okay, it looks small. It's just a crystal 
colored plastic and it's got some rhinestones on there and I got this for 80 cents then I found this is another imitation um, stones and uh, just silver tone 290 was what I paid for this one it's got a really nice clasp a toggle clasp there like they're just painted on there but they really look like natural stone of greenish turquoise very pretty and they look expensive but they weren't that's it was this bag is what's left um, this is um, Alice in Wonderland and um, I got this for my um, eldest daughter she loves Alice in Wonderland cute little either a pen bag pencil bag or um, cosmetic bag and this was only 99 cents the Goodwill a little phone charm or something that was hanging there but the inside is brand new it still had the little silica bags and stuff in here and you know never been used it doesn't look like all right guys that's the end of the haul I do want to tell you uh, I have reached another mini little milestone that I'm really happy about I've reached 1500 subscribers and I have promised you guys a giveaway when I get to those 500 increment um, milestones and so I'm gonna do a drawing I'm gonna do a drawing tomorrow to show you some choices of course it's gonna entail a bag and uh, a nice bag because that's what I like and uh, that's what I like to give away and Great milestone uh, for me I'm really happy that I've reached 1500 subscribers so I'm going to do a video tomorrow night I'm going to show you the package that I put together sort of a Valentine theme for uh, a giveaway and if you want to be entered in it let me know when we're at, when we do the video I want you to uh, and you're gonna think about this because it's gonna be Valentine theme so I want you to tell me about a memorable Valentine that you've got the most mem I have one from third grade believe it or not it that was a long time ago and I'll never forget that little Valentine because it was from someone very special in the third grade so I want you to tell me about your special Valentine in that video that I will do tomorrow on that video I will also show you what I'm gonna give away and if you're interested in the giveaway then you can give me uh, your little anecdote and I will put your name in the drawing and hopefully my pup will cooperate and help me pick that out Guys, I almost forgot two things. That I gotta show you. That. All right, I got this. I showed you this in the ride along. This was the uh, flannel shirt, shirt one. Uh, you can kind of tell by the labels. They're just uh, this one actually says Newport on it or Freeport. I'm sorry, Freeport, Maine. And so the, some of the labels today don't have that. So I got this for my daughter for two dollars. I thought it was really nice and very soft. And in comparison to some other flannel shirts that I saw there, they, it, they don't get that pilling that the others do because this is a very nice fabric and it just gets very soft and more beautiful with wear. So yeah, this at the Goodwill the other day when I got all these books and I was so surprised. Of course, I wanted to put it on Etsy immediately, but my daughter wants to wear it and I said she could wear it till I put it on Etsy. But this is all the rage. These are selling for probably $200. These are the prep sweaters, the uh, Letterman sweaters, 100% wool. And this one is not only a prep sweater. This one actually says, says any prep school chance, Sebastian's Country Day School, Newton, Massachusetts. But it's just a gorgeous sweater, red striping and trim. And she's already worn it several times. She loves it. But as I said, these are selling for about $200 on Etsy. Anywhere from about, eh, they start around $40 for, you know, just some uh, simple type. But this one, something like this with the striping and the, and the crest and all of that, they're about $100 to $200. So hopefully I can wrestle it away from her for a little while and list it. So anyway, guys, back to the contest. Please enter the contest. I'll tell you all about what I'm going to give away tomorrow. And then we, if you're interested, all you have to do, as I said, is to tell me about that special Valentine you got that just stays in your mind of what it is. Just give me a little antidote about Valentine's. Valentine cards, if you don't celebrate, tell me I don't celebrate, and that's fine. And tell me you want to enter the contest, all right? So I will talk to you very soon. I really appreciate you dropping in and watching my videos. Be well. Bye.